Welcome back to another episode of Sleeping Giants, Red Star Belgrade. Now, I have really been enjoying this save, um, especially this season. Things just seem to have been amazingly fun to play this year. And it has been nice because a lot of the time last year I was really struggling with this one and Pompey was going so well, and now it just seems to have flipped. Um, but we need to get straight into things. And we beat FK Partizan in the derby, and that was glorious. The Eternal Derby was ours, and we have not let up since. In our next game, I think it was the biggest margin I've won by on, for maybe not, I don't know. Point is, it was a huge, huge result, and it could have been worse uh, for Mladost, but we got a little bit unlucky, I think, anyway. Um, so yeah, we got plenty of goal scorers in this game. Uh, Luka Jovic scored twice in the first 14 minutes. I actually took him off at half-time in this game, and we were actually 4-0 up, no, 4-1 up at half-time, because Darko Lazovic scored two quick ones as well for us, which was great. Uh, Dusan Tesic got one back for them just on half time. Now, at half time, because of our dominance, and it might not look it, but believe me, it was, I decided to bring off Jovic and rest him for the Benfica game that was coming up and bring on Georgi Despotovic, who proceeded to score a hat trick in the second half. He was amazing in this game. Uh, just unreal, just unplayable. And it, it was glorious. Look, seven goals in five league starts so far and three substitute appearances. So that's still seven in eight. It's phenomenal. And Jovic is not bad either, I must say, and I'm really not looking forward to losing him. And you look at his stats, 4-5 and five, or 4-6, and six, even so, still a crazy good uh, return. But Basancic was off injured in this game. Thankfully, it wasn't too serious, so that is good. There is, however, some bad news coming up later in the month. Uh, yeah, but Bogdan Planic was sent off on 68 minutes, and that kind of halted it, and it enabled them to get on back through Nikola Radjen. Um, of course, they got Lazar Rozic sent off on 89 minutes, and it kind of evened it up again, but by that it was... But that point is a little bit too late. Six clear cut chances, seven goals. I mean, we were the better side and we managed to score seven goals. It was great. Just so, so good to see. And lots of assists as well in there, too. So that was also good. In our next game, we went to Portugal to play Benfica. And yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> we got another draw in Europe. Avramovsky put us in front. Um, well, Vukan Savicevic was taken off. It says two minutes. It was 30 seconds. It was 30 seconds into the game that Vukan Savicevic was taken off. And, uh, yeah. Um, I can't remember exactly what's wrong with him, but believe me, it's a big one, if I remember correctly. Torn hamstring. Yeah, two months. He's basically done until after Christmas now, so that's fun. And then on 10 minutes, Bosancic also picked up an injury. And, no, he's back, he's back fit again now. But, yeah, that means I've made two substitutions in this game after 10 minutes. I felt like everything was about to come crashing down on me at this point. So, um, but then Avramovsky scored and we took the lead in Portugal and we were actually playing quite well at the time. Then, of course, the immediate equaliser came from Nelson Oliveira, who we just couldn't stop. He was great. They missed quite a few decent opportunities at that point. But then in the second half, like, it was kind of even at half time. It was like one clear cut chance apiece, I think, at this point. In the second half, they really did kick it on a notch, but we defended well and actually got away with it. We got a point. Now, I made a substitution on 75 minutes to bring on uh, Despotovic. Unfortunately, after that, Nenad Gavrich got himself injured, and yep, that's, you guessed it, fractured ribs. So he's still going to be out for two to three more weeks. That's in addition to the fact that he'd already had three weeks out as a result of the injury in this game. So bad times in general. Um, so just looking at the match stats in general they had a lot more clear cut chances than us five to two but we did what we needed to do and we won the damn game and that is all that really matters no we didn't win the game what we're talking about we drew the game and that was what matters so that is our third point in europe and that means so far this season we've accumulated 1.2 million pounds from prize money just of getting points in europe we're actually unbeaten in the champions league I, I can't believe it. It's ridiculous. So then we came straight back into the league and we were against Voivodina. And I didn't know that they were a local rival of ours, but it turns out that they actually are. It took us a little while to break these guys down. But once we did, the floodgates opened. They played the weirdest system I think I've seen. Uh, I don't know if there's a way of showing you this. Formations. It looks even worse when you see it on the... Um, like, you think 3-5-2, yeah, but it's it was so weird to see that formation. I've never seen that played against me before, that 3-5-2 with a sweeper. Um, and at first I was baffled by it and couldn't come up with a way to get around it. Then we did. And as you'll see, we really did start to dominate after this point. We basically exploited the flanks like we were already, but we played wider. And there was something else I turned on that I don't normally have on. I can't remember what it was, but it worked. Um, we went in the lead in the first half through a Lazar Micic 
or Micic, own goal, uh, which was comical, uh, the old kick it against your defensive partner. No, wait, with this one, he actually looked like he just volleyed it into his own net. It was glorious. Uh, they did actually equalise just before half-time, though, through Filip Kostic, which was frustrating. But then straight out in the second half, Milos Bosancic with the free kick. Bang! Then... Uh, Georgi Despotovic, Darko Lazic, and then Despotovic again with another goal, just banging them in for us. Now, that was five in two league games he then suddenly got. Glorious stuff. And no injuries in this game too, which was even more glorious. -er. So, that then left us with one league game left, and that was against Napladak. And it was a little bit more of a grinding game. We didn't have... Like, we were still the better side, as you can clearly see here, but it just took us a little while. It took an a Marko uh, Paulovic own goal to actually give us the lead. And that wasn't exactly early, I don't believe. Oh, actually, yes, it was what we're talking about. Sorry, I meant that it took us a little while to kill the game off because we had quite a few chances, I think. Maybe not. Okay. What we're talking about. <laughs> Point is, Georgie Rakic wrapped the game up just after coming on. Well, he's been on for a little while. <laughs> it's, you think it's just after because it was the next highlight. And uh, yeah. Free kick, hit the bar. Georgie Rakic. Rakic coming in on the rebound and got us another win. Now, all of that leaves us, of course, still top of the league. We've got 10 wins in our first 11 league games, 35 goals scored, 12 conceded. We are five points clear of FK Partizan and 10 points clear of Jagodina, who are, were our rivals last year. But it looks like it's a two-horse race for the title. But frankly, I think if we can just keep on playing like this, we're just going to win the title at an absolute canter. Really, I genuinely do. I think we're going to smash it. I'd like to have top scorer, but when you look at the two players, I mean, Skulatic and Yorda are absolutely smashing them in for for Partizan. You know, we've got a lot of injuries, and it means that there's not quite the level of consistency. Plus, I'm always rotating between Jovic Jov uh, and Despotovic. That might have to change a little bit when Jovic leaves. Um, but then we won't have champ. We probably won't have Champions League at that point. But imagine if we got third in our group. That is what I will say, because that would put us into the Europa League knockout stages, and that is pretty damn impressive from our point of view. You'd have to say. So, yeah, very, very pleased with the way things are going in general this season. So let's just take a little look at the squad, because there's certainly lots of goals. Um, top goal scorers are Bosancic, amazingly, and Despotovic with 10 each. But look at that, 10 in 15. Very, very good. Assist-wise, Savicevic has 9, and Jovic also has 9, because we've been playing him on the left sometimes due to injuries to Gavrich and just, oh. Player of the match, Savicevic has 4. Pass rating, Avramovsky, and I think that's enough to be considered, has 88%. This guy can pass, like, seriously. Uh, yellow cards, most we have at the moment, of course, is Kavashevich, who is our halfback, so that's understandable. Most red cards, of course, Darko Lazic, but he's now calmed the fuck down, which is nice. Average rating is, of course, Vukan Savicevic, but that oh, I can't believe we're losing him for most of the season. It is scary to think about. So, let's jump straight into things here. We're at home, and... But I just think with all these injuries, we really are going to struggle here. And it's such a shame because we've done so well in Europe up to this point. You know, three draws from our three European games. And bear in mind, we've actually taken the lead in all three of our European matches. We've, two of which were penalties, but we've just never quite been able to hang on. And we've always been kind of the underdogs. Although against um, PSV, we were actually very good. So let's just see here. Um, Despotovic there. Yeah, Jovic is playing on the left. Peshnik is going to have to play there because Avramovsky is knackered. Um, although I will definitely be bringing him on. There's no doubt about that. We do still have Bosancic, which gives us that threat from set pieces. Lazovic, great. Antic, Lazic, because of course, um, who's out injured as well? There's someone else that was a bit knackered as well. I can't remember who it is. Uh, oh, Bogdan Planic, yeah. Um, so that is what we're going to go with for today's game. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to mark the living crap out of Nelson Oliveira if he's playing. I hope he is. Uh, but there you go. At the moment, a win today could take us top of the group and also a win today could take us five points clear of Benfica with two games left if we win today I have the utmost confidence that we could probably nick third place in this Champions League group because they'd have to eke back five points by winning both their games and hope that we lose both of our games one of which is at home I mean look at that we're the favorites how is that possible I know that's a bit broken but it's amazing. Oh, they've gone for two up front today. Um, but yeah, Nelson Oliveira is the man I'm going to be marking to death. So we're going to ask Momslimovic. And we're going to tightly mark him and close him down. I'm not going to tackle him hard because we don't want to concede a penalty. And I found that's always what happens when you set that one on. Um, is that Claudio Jakob? Yes, it is. The baby-faced West Brom player. Um, baby face with a beard. That's a bearded baby. He's a bearded baby. I've just noticed that he looks a little bit like a Slavic Vinnie Jones. 
There's a little bit, yeah, a bit of the Vinnie Jones is going on about him. Wait, I, just, I swear I asked Moslimovich. Nah. Wait, yeah, I did, didn't I? Apply advice to team. Thank you. What, does it change back then when I... Hmm. No, it doesn't. That's very, really odd. Okay, right. Let's uh, get into the team talk here. As much as I really want to win this one, I feel like if we do, we're in a horrifically good, I say horrifically good, in an amazing position. But I just feel like we might not be able to do it today. I just, something about this, the injuries we've got just makes me worry that we might not be able to. But then again, Savicevic went off injured in the first, in the game against Benfica. And we didn't, he basically played none of the match. So, but that was when we had Avramovsky. I don't know. He might end up being a half-time substitution if things go as badly as I think they may well do today. But we are the home team, which means we can impose ourselves on Benfica a little bit, you'd like to think. I, I just really don't know. It would be amazing if we can come up with something, but if not, I'll don't concede in the first seconds. Well done, Lazic. Up for Despotovic and Peshnik. Now, he's going to be relied on quite a lot today, Peshnik, and I'm not sure if he's quite got what it takes to play that position. That is going to be the issue here. And Despotovic has been absolutely scythed down there by Claudio Jakob. Um... That would have been a red card right then would have been gloriously helpful for us. But we can just see what we're um, coping with at the moment. Well, Sanchez with the ball in the midfield into Peshnik. Peshnik running into the centre of the pitch. Now, can he find a pass? No, he's lost it. Get on that first time. There we go. Antic is able to pick that up. If he can look it into the channel here, there might be something for us. Peshnik, round the corner? No. Keeping the ball well here, getting some good possession. Oh, it's... Uh-oh. Somebody mark Nelson. And Petkovic is across there well down to cut that ball out. But... Mm, it's hard to tell where this highlight's going to come from. I'm um, just going to make sure we've not got this set to comprehensive. No, we don't. That's really strange. It's just been going on for ages so far. Um, ball through. Oh, it should have got that. Don't, don't. don't. Oh, come on. That. Oh, I thought that was offside, but the point is he's missed it. Just as they did a lot of their chances in the first leg. Not the first leg, you know what I mean. Three of you around him win that header. Jovic can bring it down. Right, we've escaped our first little bit of poor play for the game so far. Don't you dare let them score from a corner. No! Oh, what? That's the one thing we've got tight as a nut is our corner defending. Ugh, what happened there? Uh, looks like we are going to have to try and come out and play here against... I'd hate to lose our first game at home. Guy tans ball in. Flicked back across the net and... No, just put into there. Nobody's bothered to try and defend it. Let him get a volley off, right? Well... Uh, they have not gotten behind us or anything just yet, so that's good to see. But we do need to offer something. We're on attacking, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, Antic. <sighs> Drops in for Jovic. I might not make any changes just yet. Oh. Well, that, oh I thought he was going to leave that then. Um. What the actual fuck? Right. I know I say this sometimes. And maybe sometimes I don't say it legitimately. But that is bullshit. What? Just kick it! What are you trying to do? Uh, okay, well, I think we're about to... We're going to lose this game now, because that is... Uh, right. I mean, what can you do about that? Uh, if you haven't seen it and you're listening, um, rewind and watch what just happened. I Seriously, it's just the most ridiculous thing. Um... I'm assuming he had to let go of that because he slid out of the penalty area. Just kick it then. Just... Intelligence. Use it. Have some. Right, we've not even got a single shot yet. Um, so, what can we change? Close down a bit more, maybe? Whip some crosses in. Um, let me just shoot a little bit. We've not got the quality to run at them. That's the problem. Um, yeah, we'll try this. They've been really good today. Um... In terms of creating chances, the two goals they've scored, I'm a little bit pissed about because I think we could have prevented both of them. Like, they did their best and they scored the goals, but I think that we should have done better to prevent those two goals from going in. That's what I mean. Um, I'm just going to do a little team talk here to tell them to push forward. We need to get something from this game. We can't let them win. If we can keep a, if we can get a draw against them, which would be unbelievable, um, then that will keep us in a good position in terms of points. But... It, a loss here puts us bottom of the group again and with a lot of work to do in those final two games. And not that I can't believe I'm even debating this like we were actually... Oh, what a strike from Luka Jovic. Good man. Eighth goal of the season. It is 2-1 here. Oh, surely not. Surely we've not got it in us to come back here. That would be quite something. To come from two goals down. But that would show some real fight. Peshnik there with a lovely little setup, actually. Jovic with the... Oh, Luka. 
Luca, Luca, Luca. That was a finish. This second half is going to have to be all us. We have to dominate it, and I'm not sure how we're going to do that just yet. Um, so, right, let's just get this set up, and we're just going to try and figure out a way to dominate this second half. Part of me is tempted to push a second player into midfield here. Push Kovacevic up or bring someone else on. I know this sounds a little bit wacky. Maybe bring Avramovsky on. No, 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 no. Keep Kovacevic on. Um, but then make him into a... Like a ball-winning midfielder here. Just so he's slightly further up the pitch. And can maybe get involved in that crunch in the middle. Because we don't need to work... Like, defending... We need a little bit more to sort of squeeze them a little bit in this second half. And I just wonder if that is maybe what's going to be able to do that for us. So a bit of a risk, I know. We're already set to close down more. Um, what can we do? I know I'm. Pro I know you're probably sitting there going, "Just do this." Well, yeah, <laughs> I can't hear you. Um, right, what can we do in this second half? We're gonna turn that off so we just clear the ball, maybe into the middle, if anything. I know we can't clear the ball to the middle, but. Um, Let's just see what we can do, guys. I may have to overload later on. I just want to see if maybe having an extra man in the midfield, in like the upper midfield area, might just give us a little bit more of a weight in that area. So they've got that extra outlet of a pass without having to drop it back to our defence. So they can keep the ball higher up the pitch. Even if it's only slightly higher up the pitch. You know, it might obviously make us worse defensively, but I just don't know if that's going to make any difference. Because if Benfica are going to get through us, it's going to be from getting in behind us. Um, so... If that makes sense, like having a halfback isn't going to prevent them from getting it behind us because halfbacks don't cover that area anyway. They're more for when they're playing around in this area, they're coming useful. Oh, what a... Ch oh, what? <laughs> I don't know why the defender stopped there. That was poor. But Harriman's managed to come up with a big save there for us. We just need to show something in the second half. I know we've only had one shot on target the entire game, but we did score with it. Go on, Luca. There we go. Get that ball down the wing. There we go. Despotovic has got it. Can he find a pass? He's not going to find a pass. He's going to get tackled. It's a bit of a poor one, but... We keep the ball nonetheless. Peshnik. Now he's lost it. Oh, poor. Oh well. The game goes on. They've had. They've been much more clinical in front of goal. We've not had that many chances. We just need to get in the box a little bit. Um, I'm tempted to... Part of me is tempted to push much higher. Just to compress them. Just squeeze them in there and try and really keep them from... Oh god, please don't concede from another set piece. There we go. Cleared. Go on Peshnik. Go on, son. Oh, not quite. Start getting out. Keep your man. Keep your eyes on your man. Don't let Nelson Olive. Oh my god, there's so many players in that area. Gaitan is just going to knock it through. So much space there. Well done. Great tackle. Lazic now can bring it away. Jovic. He's pulled out wide to Spotovic here. That's a really poor. Po <gasps> Peshnik's through here. Nay, Peshnik. Peshnik. Oh, block. Better. Better from us. We caught them on the counter attack there because clearly they're not. Oh, Peshnik again. Oh. What a chance that was. Well, I mean, that was a difficult one. Um, struggling to keep the ball. Well, not really. Jovic now. Oh, he's lost it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody get to that ball. There we go. Well done, Pekovic. Keeping it. Nice. Good clearance again. Kovacevic has now got it. We're looking a little bit better. We've had more shots than them in total. I know that's because we're shooting on sight. Um, but if you don't shoot, you won't score. Peshnik is going to lose this issue. But Sanchez! Oh, what a strike. Red Star 2... Benfica 2. Can you bloody believe it? We were two goals down at home against Benfica. Peshnik here with the dropout. But what a hit from Milos Bosancic. <laughs> we probably won't score a better goal than that all season. And that is not what I wanted to see right now. But at least it's a... Oh, please don't. Well, Avramovsky is going to have to come on for him now, which is annoying because I wanted to bring him on for Peshnik. But at least it happened before I made the substitution. Um... Because I was just about to, because it is 65 minutes. But, bear in mind, guys, I'm not done yet. We're actually playing quite well against Benfica at the moment, and I want to see if we... I just met... I hate that as well. I just made the substitution, and now it makes me do it again, when I've clearly just done it. Right, try that again. Uh, 
Avramovsky is not going to be great. He's more of an attack-minded type of player. Oh, please don't throw this away now. But the thing is, we need to really win a game eventually at some point in this tournament. There's a lot of space here if you can find it. Oh, you can sort of feel it about to happen. Go on, goalie. Oh, for the love of Jesus. What is it with goalkeepers? He should be onto that without even the slightest of hesitations. Like, he... Ugh. It's played in behind him. Like, there was... Mm, to me, he should be getting this. Rodrigo's ball. That's goalkeepers. I mean, look how close he gets to it before he even fucking... Oh, I hate goalkeepers. No offence to anyone who's a goalkeeper. Right, ball in from Perez here. Knocked down. Surely not another one from... Oh, you... Oh. They've had a lot of clear-cut chances. Pretty much every shot they've had. Right. We need this draw. What more can we change? I've kind of got it sorted quite nicely. I mean, we need to take more risks. We're going to have to because it's 15 minutes to go. Um, is there room for another substitution? Can I get someone else on maybe? Um, uh, Antic is not looking great. So we'll bring on Mihailovic. I'm thinking maybe a last second, like a last five minutes Strakwalersi bursty. <laughs> oh, I'd be so gutted if we lost this one because of the goals, the way they've been conceded. Like they've had a lot of chances, but the ones we've conceded have annoyed me. Vandele, like I think we've deserved a draw. Just, oh, Oliveira and of course, oh, he's missed. That looked like it went in. <laughs> that looked like it was going in and then it just didn't. <laughs> really strange. Petkovic, Peshnik now. Can he knock it through the... No, no, we've lost it. Go on, get to that ball. There we go. Bosanchic, not another one. Surely not. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is three all here. I j <laughs> How did he score that? He's done it twice in one game. Bosanchic, you are my hero, son. What about that work from Peshnik there? But then... Bang. Oh, what a strike. In off the crossbar. Wowzers. That is unbloody believable. Right. Yeah, he isn't having the best game. And I'm thinking last 10 minutes, Strakwalershi. Just can he be a hero for us? Imagine if we won this from this position. Thing is, we could easily lose it from this position. Oh, I'd be gutted if we lost this, but I feel that we kind of have to. If we've got any hope of getting that third place, we need to beat the team that are currently sitting below us in the league. A draw would be great, but the win would be the ultimate icing on the ultimate massive big cake. And it looks like we're going to get another draw in Europe, and we have done. <laughs> and it's a two-all in the other game as well. We are still right in this. That is unbelievable. Three assists for Peshnik. What a performance. Man of the match, yes. But the two goals that Milos Bosancic has scored. If you've Again, if you've not seen the goals that he's scored in this game, go and watch them. They are absolute belters that is incredible and look we are still in this with two games to go we could still fucking win the group we've drawn all three champ all four champions league games so far and now we've got a home game against psv eindhoven we do have to go to valencia in the last game i think i think we can beat eindhoven and i think if we do beat eindhoven valencia should beat benfica i think we can get third maybe even second no, no, no. Let's, let's not go over ahead of ourselves here, but what a result. What a... What a bloody game. Sorry, I was a little bit on the edge of my seat there. That's one of the best live comms I've ever done, like, for the, in terms of the actual match itself. Top goal scorer in the Champions League at the moment is our mid centre midfielder, Milos Bosancic. And if he scores a few more like... What is his long shot stat, by the way? 16. This guy is a set piece on long shot specialist. I'm going to have something in the uh, tactic, which I'm actually going to put in right now while you're watching so I don't forget. And that is... If I haven't already got him set to this, which I don't think I do. Um, he's the one that plays here. Yeah. Shoot more off. Oh, no, I don't want that, do I? Because I want... I want uh, specifically when he's in that position. Because I don't want anyone that's shit at long shots taking pot shots from s silly distances, right? Um, let's get rid of Strakul Lursi. Bosancic. When he plays in this position, I want him shooting more. Look what he did today. What an unbelievable performance from him. Um, oh, wow, just wow. So guys, um, in the next episode, 
well, it has to be, doesn't it? The Champions League game against Valencia. It, there's no ways about it. We need to play these games now. It'd be different if we were all out of the competition, but you need to see these as live comps, surely. Um, so in the next game, it will be our... Oh, actually, we're playing Valencia next. I thought we were playing Eindhoven. But yeah, so we've got the away game against Valencia next. We can take a point from that. We've got a real opportunity at getting through or into the Europa League, which would just be the most amazing thing in the world. Um, so there we go, guys. In between then, I'm going to play against Rad and Proletaire Novi Sad. So if you like what you're seeing, please feel free to drop a like on the video just for that bloody live com alone. Um, and if you'd like to even more than that, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for the next game, which is against Valencia. And I can't wait. I want to play it right now. Bye bye.